Okay, showing some titties. Don't show the titties. Okay, guys. Um, so today I want to start reviewing 90 Day Fiance. Actually, I've watched all the series. I'm kind of addicted to it. It's like, it's like crack, TV crack. Um, <laughs> I've watched 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. I've watched um, 90 Day Fiance, The Other Way Around, Pillow Talk. I've watched the whole series from beginning to end. And I really enjoyed watching Auntie's Advice. I love, 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 love Auntie. I love Saucerholic, that Asian guy. I love Wa. Just call me Wa. I love um, Shirley's World and um, Blondie, Blondie Blue and a few others. Um, so I've watched all the reviews. I've watched everything. I'm addicted. And I just decided I want to do my own reviews because although I enjoy the reviews of others, I especially enjoy Auntie and Saucerholic. Like, I can't watch it at work if I'm at work. That's a no because I'm just going to laugh until I, like, shit myself. <laughs> um, so I can't watch those at work. But, like, Shirley's World or Just Call Me Wild, those are more calm. And, you know, I can have him on the earbuds and be listening and doing the work. Yeah. But anyway, I enjoy watching them. But I do think that sometimes there are opinions that are not said that I would like to be discussed um so that's one motive as well as i really enjoy the show so why not so today i am going to be reviewing i believe i believe it's episode season four episode nine and i have my notes on my laptop here I don't know if you can see. Can you see? It's kind of difficult. Forget it. <laughs> anyway, got my notes on my laptop. So I am going to give my opinion on that episode. And let me know what you think about my opinion. You love it, you hate it. Um, screw my opinion um whatever like comment share that's the point so first i want to start off with uh pedro and chantel so it's weird to me that pedro wants an apology from chantel pedro wants chantel to apologize to his mom and his sister but actually he never apologized to her family so how can he want that from Chantel? Um, and the next thing is, next thing I want to talk about is the money. So everyone seems to have a problem with Pedro sending his mother and his sister money. Um, I kind of can see both sides because first, I'm from the Caribbean. So I understand wanting to care for and provide for your family. Um, and it's not just Pedro's doing something weird. Um, this is quite normal within the Caribbean. Um, he's following a cultural norm. And since Chantel wants to get with some dude from the Dominican Republic, she should have researched, um, brushed up on their culture a little bit more and kind of like, become aware that that is something that people tend to do in the Caribbean and she should be able to have some kind of compromise about that sort of cultural difference because that's what you do when you have two people coming together from different cultures there is compromise um so that's not that's I my opinion is it's weird when people are saying, no, 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 uh, Pedro should not be sending his family money and blah, blah, blah. Listen, if I have money, my family needs something, I have it, them will get it. They are going to get it. Um, but 
but I can see Chantel's side too because here's the thing with with Pedro he he's not doing it in a balanced way he's not saying okay all right my mom needs money my sister needs money but my wife also needs money my wife is my priority and we live in a one-bedroom apartment um, we live in a studio apartment and my wife my, my sister and my mother um, are living in a big ass luxury apartment and I'm here living like uh, a squatter now if you're single if you're single and you want to make that sacrifice you want to live in squabbles and give your family everything do you boo do you but you have a wife you can't have her living in squabbles living below the poverty line while you're giving your family everything to live like they're Beyonce and Jay-Z in, in the Dominican Republic I can see Chantel's point there so my point is they need to compromise where as far as that is concerned um next point is the harvesting the American dollar so every time I watch 90 day fiance the Chantel's mother says oh Pedro is harvesting the American dollar harvesting the American dollar now I could be wrong but as far as I am aware, as far as I am aware, Chantel is in nursing school. Chantel doesn't work. Pedro is the one that's working. Okay? So, if Pedro is the one that's working, um, he's not taking money from Chantel. He's not harvesting the American dollar from Chantel. He's working his ass off for that money. And if he's working his ass off for that money, he's not different from any other immigrant out there trying to make it in America. So if he wants to harvest the American dollar and send it back to his country, what's the problem? He's not sponging off Chantel. He's not getting, he's not using Chantel for money. As far as I'm aware, he's working a legitimate job, making a salary and getting paid. So what is the problem with harvesting the American dollar? I don't get it. Um, yeah. Um, no. Okay. So those are like some general things because this is my first um review on 90 day fiance so i may be bringing up like general things that i never um that 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 are not necessarily prevalent in this particular episode um but they're things that are like you know prevalent throughout the series so bear with me um next so oh yeah so the scene where um was it that episode? Mm, it was the episode before. This was episode eight. In episode eight, the... Gotta zoom that in. Sorry. In episode eight, the mama, Pedro's mom, was talking to Chantel. And Pedro's mom was basically saying, regarding the fight, basically saying that, listen, if I was there and your, your mother, your brother and your sister try to beat up on my son and my daughter, I'm beating your mama, I'm beating your brother, I'm beating your father, I'm beating your sister, I'm gonna beat everybody's ass. And <laughs> it sounds, it sounds a bit extreme, but I understand it. If that were me, okay, it doesn't matter what sort of differences I am having with my family. And I don't care how much I, I'm hating my, my, I don't have a sister. I only have brothers. So I don't care how much I having some kind of difference with my brother or how much I hate them or whatever. Trust and believe if a scenario like that went down where somebody, where my brother's um, girlfriend or wife or family was attacking my brother, I'm a beat their ass too. I don't know if I, I should be cursing. <laughs> I don't know if that's good for monetizing my videos. I don't know. I have to research that. But point is, I would beat their ass too, okay? You don't mess with my family. So I understand the mama bear instincts that, you know, is coming from Pedro's mom. It does sound harsh, though. It does sound like she's cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. But I get it. Totally get it. 
Um, so yeah, I'm done with them. Next couple is, uh, I think I should be crossing this, you know, I don't have a pen. Anyway, done with them. Next couple is Nicole and Ozan. That is not in this episode, but again, it's my first review, so I'm just going to give like a general um, take of everybody, of all the parties in 90 Day Fiance. So I apologize if that is not your cup of tea or what you were intending to watch. I do apologize, but let's just get into it because everyone loves them some Nicole and Azan, right? Right, right. So Nicole and Azan, my opinion about Nicole and Azan, generally speaking, oh, you might think it's weird that I'm on the floor, but this is a, this is a, what do you call it? Futon. <laughs> this is a futon and it's on a tatami mat so that's why I'm sitting on the floor I'm not some crazy person anyway so Nicole and Azan here's the thing about it now I think that Nicole has a mental illness no one can convince me only a doctor that conducted some medical tests and sh they have the proof to show me only a doctor could tell me that uh, Nicole doesn't have some kind of mental illness, ADD or um, what do what they call that one where you're like you're off the spectrum. Um, I can't remember right now. Something's wrong with that chick. Something is wrong with her. Um, the dude, Azan, is obviously scamming her. She went to Morocco. She gave him 6,000 US dollars. Do you know how much money that is? 6,000 US dollars to open a shop. Then there is no RAS shop. There's, I'm sorry, there is no shop. There is no shop and um, no one can say what happened to the money. That is the epitome of being scammed, honey. Um, and she's not even getting any sex out of it. Like, at least give me some D if you're going to like scam me out of all my money. Give me the D and give it to me good. Right? Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah. The, the, the other thing I want to say about um, Nicole is that, um, dude, dude is not even attracted to her. Like, if a dude told me that he is, what, 50% attracted to me, nigga, nah. It is not going to happen. Like, I, I am very much aware that I'm not, like, a Beyonce um, however, I do have some amount of self-esteem and pride. And if you're going to tell me that, like, you're, you're only 50% attracted to me, bye. Bye. Because, like, I can, I can help, I can help myself. Um, I can find dudes, you know. The, the person that I am with has to have some attraction to me. And it has to be more than 50%. That's all I'm going to say about that. That is just freaking weird. Um, next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on my notes, I have the mom is helping her. The mom is kind of like, um, perhaps she's giving her money. Because like, apart from the money they get from TLC, she don't work. So who is giving her the money to fly here, there, and everywhere with a kid? Somebody's giving her money. And I am inclined to believe it's her mom. But my point about helping her, um, I want to say the mom is condoning, condoning her behavior. Because in previous episodes, the mom said um, that it's going to end. We, we just need to leave her alone and not like interfere in her personal relationship with Azan because it's going to end someday. What? Like, I cannot, I cannot understand it because if, if that was my mom, I don't know if I would be alive because the assault, <laughs> I don't want to get my mom in trouble. I love you, mommy. But I just know the assault that she would give me if a dude, she would do to me. If a dude had 6,000 US dollars 
taking my 6,000 US dollars, have me on TV looking dumb, stupid. Um, I, I need to look up that, that, that disease. I can't remember. Autism, autism. Have me looking like I'm autistic out here. Best believe she'd be hitting me upside the head. She would not be going, oh, it'll end someday. Oh, let's leave Nicole alone. It will end. That is some bullshit. That is, that is absolute bullshit. <laughs> absolute bullshit. Um, so back to my notes. She's condoning her behavior and it's so weird to me. The whole family, seven except for the stepfather, the whole family seems to be condoning the relationship, even though they they all see the the red, the signs. They all see the signs that Azan is scamming her. Azan doesn't love her. Azan's not attracted to her. Azan ain't giving her nothing. He ain't giving her money. He ain't giving her D. He ain't giving her time. He ain't giving her attention. He ain't giving her shit. Um, <laughs> he's not giving her anything. Everyone in her family knows it. But only the stepfather is man enough to really come out and, and, and say, call it for what it is. That is bullshit. Um, so I, I love the stepfather. He's awesome. Um, I love the part where he, he's in his personal confession and he goes, I hope she doesn't come back pregnant. <laughs> that part is hilarious to me. But honestly, I think we all know she ain't coming back pregnant. Okay? She ain't coming back pregnant. That's one thing that's not going to happen. All right. So, Nicole and Ozan. And Larissa and Colty. Oh, I have two separate notes here. Okay. Okay, so Larissa and Colty. For Larissa and Colty, um, <laughs> well, I don't even know what to do with those notes. I'm just going to skip that and just go to the main notes. Okay, so my general impression of Colty is he is one of those axe murderers, one of those psycho people. Um, one of those, like, um, 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 um. Um, serial killers. He reminds me of a serial killer. Um, he just looks, he just has this weird morbid look to his face and he says weird morbid things. You remember when he was um, taking Larissa to go pumpkin carving and for Halloween and she didn't know anything about carving a pumpkin because it's not her culture. It's, it's not really Jamaican culture either so I, I understand. So he was explaining why it is that they carve a pumpkin, blah, blah, blah. But the way he explained it was you, you stab the pumpkin and you take out its guts. And he was just describing it like a murder, like some psycho crazy person. I don't know how she, I don't know how she married him. This is weird. I just feel like if she, she pushes him, if she were to push him, because I know they're divorced now, but I'm just saying, if she were to push him to the point where he couldn't call the police to get her crazy ass off of him, best believe that she'd be in a basement somewhere with with the cats eating her body. That's what I think. Um, <laughs> so yeah, also, like the dynamic between Colty and his mom, yeah, everyone knows that's weird. Weird, weird, weird shit. Um, and, oh, so, in a previous episode, Larissa called Colty a big kitty cat. I don't think I can say the other word. Um, I think she's right. I mean, they have a bunch of cats there. Larissa's a woman, so she's a kitty cat, too. The mom's a kitty cat, too. And here comes Colty with the biggest boobs of all. So he's got to be the biggest kitty cat of all. <laughs> That's my opinion. Um, I could use some of his boobs, actually. I have nothing. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Next thing is... Okay, so in the actual episode, episode 9, we see where Colty is saying to Larissa... No, Larissa is upset and she's saying to the cameras that I don't have money to go and do my hair. 
um, Cole T agreed to give me money to do my hair, but now when he found out how much it costs, he doesn't want to pay because he's afraid of his mother. His mother and him, they have a joint account together and he never stands up for me. Anything his mama wants, that's what happens. So she's upset. And I want to say that I, I understand Larissa's position not that i've ever been in that position but me me being a foreigner in a foreign country um i can i can put myself in that mindset and imagine what it would feel like to be taken to be taken advantage of in that way because think about it yes she did make a, a, a an active decision to go over there um to be with him but here she is now um, she's in their country. She can't work. She doesn't have a job. He agreed. He also made an active decision that he was going to take care of her whilst she is there until she can better herself, get her papers and find a job, blah, 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 blah. Right? He also agreed to that. And getting her hair done, she's a woman those things may seem unnecessary to a man, but it's definitely necessary for a woman. <laughs> That's my opinion. Um, it's a necessary thing. You want to help keep yourself. I mean, you're on a TV show. You're, you're the hot Brazilian wife with the, the hot Brazilian ass, according to Colty. So she has to she has to keep herself up, right? She has to keep herself up. And here comes this 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 Oompa Loompa with, with melon titties talking about how he can't um pay for anything more. It's something basic. Doing here is something basic. Yeah. It's not like she said she wanted to go do her titties. Cause she could just get the fat from him, but <laughs> okay. Um it's something basic. So I could understand in that moment how she felt sort of disadvantaged and helpless. And I am, I am taken aback by that scene and I feel for her in that scene. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for them. The only other thing that I would say is that, um, the relationship between Colty and his mom, um, I don't think he's ever going to find a woman who's going to stick with him unless he addresses that. Yes, you love your mom. Yes, you want to provide for her. Blah, 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 blah. But you have to know how to separate and compartmentalize things. You can love your mom and respect your wife. You can do those things. The two are mutually exclusive. Um... You, you can have a joint account with your mom and have your separate a checking account with your wife and have your separate little savings account in case, like, she leaves me, I'ma still be good money. You can have all those things. You have to know how to work it, work it together. Work it in together. And you don't have to uh, drive over Larissa with the pickup truck and then reverse on her ass in order to have a relationship with your mama. It, it doesn't have to work like that. Um, yeah, but it's 23 minutes. Damn, that's really long. So, all right, I'm done with them. Pretty much said all, all that I wanted to say. Next, Ross and Paola. Um, Ross and Paola. Ross and Paola. I didn't even have those there. Anyway, I got some notes on them. Boring. Boring shit. Um, pretty much wanted to skip it. So, them and the the israeli american couple i don't even know their names because they're just that boring to me um on the pillow talk i don't even know their names who is making these decisions to put to put these couples on the shows because that needs reviewing they are very very boring very i can't i don't have any interest to watch them i don't have any interest to talk about them but i'll try my best um it's a waste of time though. Waste of time, waste of space, waste of energy. Uh so yes, so stupid boring people, Ross and Piola. Okay. The point with Ross and Piola, the the the, the overriding point throughout all the episodes is Paola doesn't want to live in whatever um hillbilly area that Ross is from. I forget. 
Oklahoma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She don't want to live there because she's Colombian and she likes to show her skin and there are no people there that are of color and blah, blah, blah. Right. But yeah, I can, I can understand that, but I don't understand why she can't have a, a, a decent relationship with the mom. Um, lots of Caribbean cultures like to show skin because we just have, we just have sun so we don't we know we are not used to like covering up for the the snow and whatnot and also the culture in itself we have carnivals and uh, we're you know we're good at dancing not me i'm terrible but generally speaking we like to dance and so we, we, we're very we love the skin i get it however however her coming to the mother's house or the parents house in the mornings with her big ass titties out. There's no excuse for that. You you could be from Colombia, Jamaica, Dominican Republic. It doesn't matter where you're from. You go to your man's house to meet his family. You cover up your titties and your coochie. That's just how it goes. There's no excuse for that. And I think the, her whole storyline, oh, I don't like Ross's parents because uh, they don't like my culture. That's bullshit. I... I believe if she were to come correct to the parents and cover up her assets, they would receive her better. Okay? Um, it's just common decency. So that's bullshit. Um, it's just stupid and boring. Uh, so what else do I have? Cover up titties. Okay. Done with them. Boring ass couple. Next, Andre, 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 and Libby. Andre, Andre. Like, <laughs> I don't have a problem with her saying Andre, if I'm saying it correctly. I don't know. But yeah, I know I've read the comments of other people. Um, You know, I'm watching like auntie's videos and whatnot, and I see people going, oh, why she has to say Andre? <laughs> and I like Shirley's World um, video too. Recently, I watched the video and I actually commented something about that but anyway um yeah andre and libby i don't have a problem with how she says the name that's how he says his name in his culture i think there's just respect it's, i know she's being a little bit extra but it's respect it's cool so here's my opinion now my overall opinion of andre and libby and they were in episode nine so i can address that too um andre he ain't got no ambition um he ain't got no job um what else he ain't got he's wasteful i don't know why i'm saying wasteful i forget oh i think i'm saying he's wasteful because they had a house they had um so you know he did the trucking thing he did the trucking thing did the lessons started a few jobs decided nah i want to be um a handyman Bitch, what? Okay, no ambition. Next, lazy. You had a whole free house. And the dad said, Libby's dad said, please maintain the house. Please keep the house. That is the definition of a handyman. You didn't do shit. You are a freaking lazy man. Um, Wasteful. You are going to... Give up a free house to go and pay rent elsewhere with your pregnant wife having to be the one who's footing the bill for this new apartment. Wasteful. Um, and the part where he, he says, oh, don't terrorize me with your pregnancy. What the fuck? What the... In that moment, I just wish that her stomach was fake and she could just rip it off and beat his ass with it, okay? That terrorizes his ass with the pregnancy. Um, okay, next, 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 next. Uh, oh, so, important point. So, episode 9, we see where they're having a baby shower for Libby. And, of course... Um, stupid Andre is invited and Andre specifically requests that Libby's sister, one of Libby's sister, whose name I did not write down, but one of Libby's sisters should not come to the baby shower because previously, um, 
Libby told Andre that that sister was talking shit about him. And so Andre doesn't like that sister, right? My, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. He is basically trying to isolate her from everyone in her family. If you've been watching all the episode, there's a pattern. He has a problem with the father. He wants to cut off the father. He has a problem with the sisters. He wants to cut off the sisters. Um, I don't really see the mother. I don't know why. But he's isolating her from her family. And that's concerning because she needs her family. Not, not even emotionally need her family i'm talking financially need her family because daddy gives her a job daddy gives her loans daddy pays for apartments and she's pregnant she has several emotions searing through her body she's gonna need her sisters and her dad and her mom and her whole support unit in this time so what kind of sane well-meaning husband would try to actively isolate their pregnant wife from their family. Don't make sense. And uh, the scene where she's arguing with the sisters on, the cell, on her cell phone and um, she's telling Andre that the sisters are arguing, why did she leave, blah, blah, blah. And he snatches the phone from her and said, what did he say? Um, don't text, I said. Don't text, I, I can't get the accent, but I'm, I'm going to work on it. Don't text, I said. <laughs> I don't know, that's terrible. Okay, but he said, don't text, I said. Um, and he snatched the phone away from her. That is telling. Now, I saw other reviews and other comments. Like, in particular, I saw Waz, Just Call Me Waz review. And in Just Call Me Waz review, um, I love you, Wa. Um, However, this is my opinion. You said you don't think snatching the phone in and of itself means he's abusive. Well, I would say it's not tantamount to beating someone's ass, but it is telling. It is telling of future things to come. Yeah, because me personally, I can have an argument with someone. I can tell them, I disagree with you. I may even curse them out if I'm that angry. It it could happen. However, I'm not going to snatch something away from them, especially, especially not their property. If it was like my property and I wanted it back, I would be so inclined to snatch it from them. I'm not going to lie. But it's their property. I'm not going to do it. So the fact that he felt comfortable to take her phone away from her and then to keep it um, away from her um, 